30% of the earth is covered by forest and trees are an enormous recurring natural resource utilized throughout the world. Processing this timber further requires not only human manpower but also the right tools. In this program we test for the best sawing system in the world. We've selected Finland for our test site because of its tough conditions and world famous wood business expertise. And our test team is already there and raring to go. So today we're testing to find the best circular sawmill in the world. On the left, Wally Woodman is representing the traditional circular saw generation and he's using a tractor-toed mobile field saw, model 1948. On the right, Larry Limet is representing Limet's circular sawmills made by Lytle and Metalli. But where's Larry's gear? Yep. Hop, hop. Well, now we've got the equipment on site, let's start the test. Wally, are you ready? And Larry? Good, then the test begins. On your marks, get set. Okay, it seems Larry's team got their sawmill ready to go first, so let the sawing begin. Now that both teams have the logs ready, we can begin comparing features. First, the body structure. Limet looks very solid, five stars. And Wally's machine? Okay, it seems that the preparations are not quite finished. Then to the log lifter. In Limet's machine, everything is hydraulic and there's power to spare, five stars again. Wally's machine is clearly not very economic in terms of manpower, but, well, he's got it up anyway. One star. Third are the feed rollers. Looks like smooth rolling and good going with Limet, so another five stars. And how about Wally's bearings? Hmm, uh, nice rolling uh, with a little manual help. However, Woodman's best score so far our judges say two stars. Now to dimension controller devices. Larry seems to have an electronic dimension controller. Just push a button for whatever thickness of timber you require. And so the usual number of stars. Let's see how Wally's dimensioning's going. Well, it's clearly a manual model and... Oops, it's a little bit fragile, are we? getting a figure for thickness. Maybe we should just go on. Uh, next feature. So to the blade guides. In Limet's sawmill, this is also precisely designed. 
and the blade guides are close to the table surface providing excellent support for the blade. Now for Wally and what's this? A bottle of milk and finished rye bread? Well, let's make a note. No blade guides. And now for the hydraulic top saw. There seems to be a straightforward solution in the Limit model. It works well and even big trunks go through smoothly. Five stars once more. And Wally's top saw? Ah, looks like it's manual too, but let's see if the rye bread help. Yes, it seems to be powerful, but still rather troublesome and slow. Unfortunately, it's no stars again. Now, what about the sawdust fan? Looks fine as usual, and you can even collect the sawdust. Oh dear, be careful not to inhale, Wally. Well, this doesn't strike us as terribly effective. Now for the hydraulic log fastening device. Larry demonstrates how the fastening happens and so it goes. And then to the competitor. Ah, it's another milk break. I don't think Wally will trouble Lime at all the judges on this score. So what about blade sharpening machines then? Limet makes this easy again and right on the sawing site without unfastening the blade. Wally's looking mysterious. What is it? Aha! Fire! And it goes back and forth so fast that he must have had some previous experience. Okay! Two stars for swift performance. And then finally we come to the log tables and their operation. Limet has broad, firm and fast tables. So, the familiar number of stars. And Wally's machine started fine. It looks good. Oh dear. And now Wally's really losing it. No points. And Wally's had it. Victory goes to Limet, and Larry sportingly invites Wally over to get acquainted with the winning system. Contest seems to have drained Wally of energy, and he's moaning rather about his aching back. Larry comforts Wally and seems to be saying that Limet's sawmill spare the man, as everything is hydraulic and ergonomics are improved by a heated working platform and good lighting. Special attention has also been paid to safety, and each hazard point is well marked and guarded. Just a moment, what's happening here? Wally seems to be getting seriously interested in the lime at sawmill, and would clearly like to buy one for himself. Well, he's just checking his wallet, Larry certainly seems happy, but that's not quite enough. But fortunately, Limet has many different models to offer. A test was carried out on the factory's top-of-the-line model, the Limet 130. And now Larry and Wally are looking at the next model, the Limet 120, which is equipped with almost identical features and has a lighter frame. Then there's the 100, ideal for all users, and that's exactly what Wally's buying. Our test seems to be over now, so we hope you've enjoyed it, and goodbye. No, no, wait a minute. What's Larry waving about now? Do you want to show us something more? All right, let's see. Aha, it's lime at screw chippers. Well, let's see how this one works. I believe Messrs. Limet and Woodman will give us a model demonstration. Well, the screw chippers seem to be just as effective as all Limet's other equipment. As a matter of fact, we're beginning to get interested in how these machines are manufactured. Larry, 
could you give us a brief introductory tour at the factory? Great! And while our two friends go to the factory, let's have a look at how Limit's fixed sawing line works. The log feeder feeds one log at a time to the saw table. The log directing device is hydraulically adjustable to the length of each log and can be fitted with an automatic digital block director. The log fastener is integrated into the log table so it need not be removed at any phase of the sawing. The Limit fastener even grips frozen logs well. The top saw is delivered with either an electric or hydraulic motor. The upper blade guard on the lower or main blade moves aside automatically when the top saw comes into play and resets itself when the top saw is at rest in the upper position. The upper blade is right behind the main blade to keep cutting lines meeting smoothly, even with hard to saw trees. The hydraulically operated part of the deflector arm can be used for deflecting or dropping heavier blocks and planks off the log table, or there are throwing devices for slabs and smaller planks. An optional hydraulic distributor sorts planks and sawn timber off the table. A slower RPM chipper with low power consumption makes the ideal slab chipper. The chips themselves are forwarded using an electric fan or conveyor. The crosscut saw with its adjustable length setting can also be equipped with a feeder Blade movement is controlled pneumatically or by hydraulic cylinder. Finished timber may be removed with the pneumatic deflector. The pre-barker removes tree bark and any dirt 10 millimeters around the sawing slot. Use the pre-barker to lengthen blade sharpening intervals and the effective operating life of the saw blade. The simultaneous movement of the digital dimension controller and log director gets logs to the sawing line fast. And there's a range of versatile programming options to add to the factory preset standards. Sharpens without removing the saw blade. Quick and versatile controls make this sharpening machine easy to use and it stays solid even with blades with hard metal teeth. It's great going when Limit's running. And I think Larry and Wally just arrived at the plant, so let's join them. Know-how and expertise is what makes Limat's winning sawmills and Wally's now decided to buy one for himself. Just sign there please. 
Come and join the real winners, the Lima team. There are thousands of satisfied Lima saw owners all around the world. But then, of course, that's no surprise to us, is it? You're in.